Hey, this is Justin Henderson. I'm about to inform some parents as to whether or not they should get their kids a non-Apple PC or a Mac. Let's get this show started. So, have you ever asked yourself or heard someone else ask the question, which laptop should I get my son or daughter for college? Most parents are very curious and sometimes even nervous as to what laptop is truly the best. You're about to be provided with the information and comparisons between an Apple Mac and a PC based on research uh, by many people who are highly involved um, in technology. Uh, you really need to know what your son or daughter needs the laptop to be doing for them and so kind of compare the non-Apple PCs with the Macs uh, and help you decide which is the best one for your son or daughter. Now a lot of parents don't have a clear um, basic idea of how a computer works. Now, before going to components of the computer uh, let me just clarify something. PC stands for personal computer, so that means that Macs are PCs. Uh, they're just a different brand of PC, like Toshiba, Dell, HP, uh, Gateway, etc. Now, some of the most common things that make a computer function are the processor, the RAM memory, uh, graphics card, and hard drive. You might not know what some of these things are, but you've probably heard them from a TV commercial or a sales associate at a tech store. Um, so I'm here to help you understand exactly what each term means. Now, the first thing I mentioned is the processor, which is like the highway of a computer. Um, basically, it carries out the instructions of, of uh, pr uh, computer programs and its functions. Um, you've probably heard of different companies, the processors like Intel or AMD, they're kind of the most popular ones. Uh, there are multiple types of processors, and they're all built with their own configurations and stuff um, concerning what they can handle um, and their own limits and everything. Um, some processors are only good for surfing the Internet or just like making documents on Microsoft Office um, and just playing simple games that are on the PC like Solitaire. As the price of a computer gets higher, generally the processor gets better, and the highest price processors are usually good for just gaming type stuff. Um, usually the college students don't really need that. Uh, the next thing you should probably know about is uh, RAM, which is short for Random Access Memory. RAM is uh, basically the, ran it's, it's the random, less organized way that uh, information gets stored onto a computer. It's less organized than the hard drive. And the third thing I mentioned was the graphics card. Now, nearly all computers have these. Basically, they, they make computers be able to display movies and TVs better, different games, or if you want to watch TV on your computer, stuff like that. Now, the last thing I mentioned is the hard drive. It's completely opposite from the RAM. It's the non-volatile storage units of memory, which means that anything that's placed inside them can be retained without being powered. There's one more com uh, common component uh, that you should probably know about. It's called the operating system. Now, Mac computers run on the operating system called Mac OS X, and then uh, all other non-Apple PCs run on something like Microsoft Windows, like Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Uh, you can run Windows on a Mac, but you can't legally run Mac OS X on anything but a Mac. When you go shopping for a laptop, you want to look for the amount of RAM and hard drive space that it, that's inside of it. Usually the number of RAM space ranges between 1 gigabyte and 6 gigabytes, and the hard drive generally ranges between 160 gigabytes to 640 gigabytes. The higher the number, the more you can store on the computer, and generally the faster it runs. Now, the first question is, what is the difference between Macs and all other PCs? As mentioned earlier, Macs can run on the operating system called Mac OS X, and most other non-Apple PCs generally run on Windows operating systems. There's another question, though. Why do non-Apple PCs have so many more virus reports than Macs? The answer is simple. It's popularity. Because popularity works both ways as coders of viruses want to target the bigger audience, which explains why viruses cause major problems on non-Apple PCs. Um, the lack of viruses on the Mac doesn't mean it's immune. It just means that coders want to reach a wider audience, that being the Microsoft Windows um, operating systems. Now, non-Apple PCs have a large advantage over Macs. They have a big choice of configurations which means you can customize them to fit your needs. You can have a standard gaming, multimedia PC, or any other configuration. You can even upgrade or simply change your configuration at a later time if you want to, um, but with Macs, the choices are limited. Now, for the question that can either be fun or extremely difficult, should you get your son or daughter a Mac or a non-Apple PC? To lower the options down, you have to find out what your kid really needs out of the laptop. Are they going to be doing a lot of photography or videography or just simply browsing the internet? Um, are they going to be designing big applications and draft plans or just writing simple papers? Are they extreme gamers? Do they like to watch a lot of online TV um, or movies? Probably the most important question is how capable are they of actually using a computer? Frankly, at least 25% of people are not very confident in using a computer and Macs are practically made for those people who need something that is incredibly easy to use where everything is basically let out for them. Macs generally cost more because they have many programs installed on them that basically make the functions, like all the different performance functions, work um, easier. 
it's pretty much laid out for you to where you don't have to go searching for something. It's very easy uh, to find the different uh, performance functions. On the other hand, most non-Apple PCs require some get-to-know time uh, and generally cost less because they haven't been installed with as many programs as Macs, so you must find out for yourself what you really need the laptop to do. A uh, final point of staying note of is this. Because Apple has control over which hardware can be used um, with their Macs, it's easier for them to support their units. With PC hardware, each manufacturer supports their customers differently. When you're shopping for a computer, uh, whether online or in the store, you got to inquire about the warranty and the support and you know the different uh, service that the manufacturers provide. So as you can see, there's a lot of research that has to be done to find the right uh, laptop. And I've given you a fair amount of information about how computers work. Um, so now you just have to ask yourself what laptop will work best for your son or daughter um, with their college career and possibly beyond that. Um, the only thing that really matters is choosing the one that, that fits your needs and your tastes and your budget. So that's all I have for you.